I want to do a video for anybody out there who's thinking about getting into ham radio or amateur radio as a hobby or as a uh, part of your SHTF gear um, loadout for communications pur uh, purposes to either hear about what's going on around the world or just communicate with people in your in your community locally or uh, nationwide or even worldwide of course the equipment is going to uh, vary drastically depending on what you're trying to do uh, little handheld transceivers like this can do um, a few miles <clears throat> without the use of repeaters will also let you tune into a lot of the frequencies that uh, that are being operated around your neighborhood uh, with a repeater it'll go even further uh, with a big antenna and maybe a maybe an RF amplifier a linear amplifier uh, it's going to give you similar powers to a, a mobile or a base station um, to get the license uh, there's uh, study guides available for download online uh, books that you can buy some of the online resources uh, ARL.org, that's the National Association for Amateur Radio, uh, has a lot of great resources. Eham.net, also a great resource. QRZ.com, this is a place where you can go and look up people's call signs and, and also uh, just a great ham radio resource. Now, as far as studying for the tests, um, there's three levels of uh, ham radio licenses technician being the entry level and then the general class being the next step up each step up gives you additional uh, authorities to operate on on different frequencies and do different things and then the, the third step is the extra class all of these require a test administered by uh, volunteer examiners and um, they are allowed to charge a certain fi you know certain maximum amount for the test so it's not that expensive and once you get your once you get your call sign um, station identification assigned to you and you can start operating on any of the frequencies and bands that that, uh, that your class allows you to operate on um, <coughs> obviously the uh, the first entry level license you can get is called the technician class and what that entails is a multiple choice test um, 35 questions and you have to answer at least 26 of them accurately and um, that's pulled out of a question pool of a few hundred questions so the best way to study actually is just to you know you can get a book and learn all about it but the fastest way to study is actually just study the questions from the question pool and one of the websites that I found that does a really nice job of uh, letting people study in that method is this website called hamlicenseflashcards.com they have all three classes uh, with the latest question pools already loaded and you can jump it's simple it's a straightforward website you jump right into it so this is the technician class you jump right into a test mode you see the question and you get your four multiple choice answers let me hold this or maybe zoom in a little bit so you can see better Okay, once again, it's called hamlicenseflashcards.com. Okay, so let's go into flashcard for technician license exam. It randomly throws up, throws up one of the questions from the question pool. You pick and choose what your answer is, and um, you pick that answer. I'm just going to go ahead and randomly pick a choice. Now, if you get it incorrect, it tells you what it is, but it also keeps score for you on the side there, which is kind of nice. And then when you're ready, hit the next question. And let me just go ahead and answer this one correctly so we can see what's going on. If you answer correctly, it tells you that it's correct and also keep track of that. And it keeps a running score. <clears throat> so remember, for this particular technician class exam, you got to get 26 out of 35 correct at a minimum to pass um, so this is a great way for, m for, for me that I found anyways I can load this up on my on my tablet on my smartphone um, if I have 10 minutes I you know load the load the uh, website run through you know half a dozen questions um, 
I can also go into what they call study mode which just randomly throws up a question and then tells you the answer and you can click through and you know kind of quiz yourself so this is a uh, this is kind of a like a pop quiz it that that you can give yourself wherever you are you know whatever it is um, you can also obviously go to uh, general class or extra class but you can also click on the question pool and it, tell, and it gives you every question in that question pool if you want to study it this way you know you find something that you're interested in you don't know the answer you click on it it takes you to that uh, question and gives the answer so very simple website um, kinda takes the idea of these these uh, flashcards that uh, you know um, us old timers used to do when we're uh, when we're in school studying for a test I find it being easier than to um, you know just to study off of a big list of questions or you know I mean if you want to do it the right way what you do is you take a class or you know get a couple of books and study the books so you actually know the fundamentals of uh, electronics and radio frequencies and things like that but if what you're interested in is to pass the test I find this as being probably one of the most efficient ways of studying questions directly out of the question pool so again hamlicenseflashcards.com uh, if you guys are interested in getting your ham license check it out